Hello, this video is going to show you the difference between adding images in the master slide versus adding images in as the background image. Um, so what I've already done is I've created two slides. This one is just a, um, a diagram and it's just put in here just to show you what it will look like um, for an image to go in the background versus an actual um, screenshot of text and a document and an activity here. So for the first one, um, I created this diagram, but I created it right in the slide. So this could be moved around and edited if I were to give this to students now. So since I don't want them to have editing ability um, or be able to accidentally delete something, what I can do is highlight the slide and come up to File and go to Download. From Download, I can choose to um, download it as an image. So I'm just going to let the image sit down here in my Chrome browser and then I'm going to go to add a new slide. I'm going to come down to a blank slide and I'm going to go to background. I'm going to change my background and I'm going to choose image this time. And I can actually browse my computer or I can drag and drop this in. And so since I can drag and drop and it's sitting on my Chrome browser, I'm just dragging and dropping it in. And then I'm going to select done. And so now I have two. One is, and you can see this one is fixed on the screen and my original is not, okay? Another option is I took a screenshot of a PDF I had and I inserted it here and I'm able to move this around, okay? But I don't want students to mess it around. So obviously I can do the same thing. I can come to file, I can come to download, download the image. Create a new blank slide, go to background, choose image, and drag and drop it in here again. And then click done. And now I have um, the image back as a background here, and it won't, students couldn't move it or edit it. But one other option I do have is to go to slide, go to edit master, and I can edit a master slide. And this will fix images to the slide as well using the template version. So I'm scrolled down here to my blank. And since I don't want to uh, ruin the blank template that I currently have, I'm just going to right click on here and duplicate the blank layout. And so this one's named, the original is named blank. And the new one I just created is blank one. So I'm just going to rename this so that it's easy to locate. And I'm going to call it LC for Lost Colony since that's what the PDF is on. And so now I can actually, I'm not going to use background this time. I'm going to come up to insert image and upload from my computer where I have it saved on my laptop already. And I'm going to choose the lost colony and insert it in here. And as you can see, it comes in just like any other image would and I can resize it like I want to on the screen. So I can move it here, but once I select the X to close out of the master slide option, I can come up here to my layouts, and instead of adding a blank one, I actually can just add the layout that I just created in master slide. And so as you can see, I have the original that I created and inserted an image right in the slides. I downloaded and uploaded this image as the background. And then this one is fixed, and I created that in the master slide by inserting the image. So let's look at these all in present mode and see what they look like differently. So this is my original that can be moved in the slide. And the only change I see here, because it's really just an image and not so much text, is the boldness of the text that comes in. So if you look at slide one and go back to slide two, just that boldness there comes, um, you can tell it's a little bit different. So if I go to slide three, this is my original where I just inserted it and it's still movable on the slide. Slide four is the background image. Okay, so I inserted this as a background image. And then slide five is the master slide. I think it looks better with the master slide. If you just pay attention to some of the writing, it looks clearer here. If I go back to slide four, the background image, it just looks a little bit blurrier. So I can still read it, I think it's fine, but if I want it to make sure it's clear for students, I would rather go with the master slide. So those are some differences between using background image and the master slide to fix items or images to your page.